Good day and welcome. This is your Chromebook overview. Just a few simple things to get started. Every one of our Chromebooks is personalized. It has a name on the Chromebook and it also has a name on the power supply. My recommendation is that you keep that power supply at home. That recommendation is based solely on that there are over 4,000 of these devices and they look exactly the same. Keeping your power supply at home will allow you to keep track of it a little bit easier than moving that from your classroom each and every day. As you already know, your Chromebook has a touch screen. The touch screen works wonderfully and my recommendation with the touch screen just like anything else in life, is to practice, practice, practice. In the beginning, it's a little bit of a change getting used to the touch screen, but eventually you will find that it is easier and much more efficient to use the touch screen features. Obviously, the more you use it, the easier it will become. On the other hand, the trackpad is a little bit different than the trackpad you use with your other devices. The trackpad has its own set of shortcuts, which we will discuss in one of the later modules. Chromebooks come with their own set of shortcuts. My favorite shortcut, control or question mark. Once you hit control alt question mark, a keyboard is going to appear over whatever it is that you're working on. In fact, if you hit control alt question mark right now, what's going to happen is a screen will appear on top of the screen you're working on, just like you're seeing now. If I press control, I see what control shortcuts I have. If I press shift, I can see what shift shortcuts there are. If I press alt, obviously the same holds true. I can see what shortcuts are alt enabled. Then any combination, control shift gives me shortcuts, control alt gives me question marks. Alt shift also gives me shortcuts. I think I said question marks, but any combination you choose, it shows you the hotkeys that are available. To get out of this screen, just tap escape. I also escaped out of my presentation by hitting escape. So we'll continue on. Using the internet will allow you to find hundreds of shortcuts when using your Chromebooks. Some you will embrace and get used to and others you'll find no need to use. Plenty available if you just do a search. The battery life is really very nice within the Chromebooks. Right now we're seeing anywhere from eight to 10 hours of moderate use. If you're using it hard throughout the day, you will probably get a little bit less than eight to 10 hours of continuous use, but eight to 10 should get you easily through your working day with the amount that we're using our Chromebooks. My recommendation is to get that Chromebook charged every night, and the same recommendation will go for the students. Anywhere there's Wi-Fi capabilities, your Chromebook will detect the Wi-Fi. If it's an unprotected network, you'll easily be able to jump on there. If a passcode is necessary, the first time you enter the passcode, like at your house, Every time you move into that environment after the first time, your Chromebook will automatically pick up the Wi-Fi 
And you'll see that down in the bottom corner whenever you log on to your Chromebook. In fact, I'll take you there right now. Down here in the bottom corner, you can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi and the signal is very strong. Settings. The next module is going to take us into settings in more detail. Where do I find settings? I'm going to show you. I'm just going to jump out of my presentation for a moment and show you that right down here, there is a little panel that has my identification on it. It has a battery on it, which tells me what kind of battery I have left. And all I have to do is tap once on this window. Up comes a, a larger window, and it gives me some details about my Chromebook. You'll see that I am connected to a Wi-Fi right here. My Bluetooth is enabled. Is oh, my Bluetooth is disabled. I'm sharing my screen right now through Screencastify. Here's the volume, and here's settings. You can see I have five hours worth of battery left, and it's at 92%. If I wanted to get further into the settings, all I would have to do is tap this gear right here, and it would give me a larger menu of shortcuts. Like I said, we're gonna explore that in a little bit. So for right now, I'm exiting out of that and moving back into our presentation for today, which is simple settings. Bluetooth capabilities are yours with the Chromebook. If you have a speaker, if you have a mouse, anything you want to add that is Bluetooth capable, the Chromebook will easily accommodate that Bluetooth. Adding a bookmark is easy on the Chromebook just as easy as any other device. You just go to the site that you're interested in, type in that site. Once the site appears, there'll be a star over on the far right-hand corner. The star will not be blue. The star will be an open star. Tap once on the star. A drop-down window appears. Where do you want to put the bookmark? I want to put it on the bookmark bar. One tap on done it appears on your bookmark bar. Same thing with bookmarks. We'll come back and explore that in detail in another module, but in essence, it's quick and easy as you just saw. That's it for the overview. Stop back again. We'll uh, take it one step further. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.